What is up, YouTube? This is FNH here with a brand new video to talk about Pinnacle and how you can have the like and subscribe button in your YouTube videos itself. So this is not the BS subscribe button that shows up on the bottom right corner from YouTube itself. I will make a video on that just in case anyone wants to know how to do that as well. But this is the actual subscribe and like button within the video itself so you probably see a lot of like big youtubers with like hundreds of thousands if not millions of subscribers do this well good news <laughs> you can do it also you don't need millions of subscribers or a crazy editor to do this it's actually extremely simple and easy to do uh, just make sure to watch all the way to the end to follow all the steps and to be able to get essentially these clips essentially for free so this is a video i made um recently you probably saw it maybe maybe not on uh, about me walking in prospect park so you can see this is just a regular video it's just nothing crazy just wanted to show you and i'm going to show you exactly what you need to do and how to do it in pinnacle studio now the thing is this can work for any studio uh you can do it on camtasia you can do it on um sony vegas pro uh, adobe premiere all that other good stuff i'm specifically doing it for pinnacle i've been using pinnacle a lot lately i've been learning a lot of editing and all these other good stuff at pinnacle so i want to just do pinnacle um again extremely easier steps to follow with the rest as well if you really do <coughs> excuse me want a, a basically tutorial for camtasia i do have camtasia um i can make one for you guys on that if you'd like uh let me know in the comment section below i would be glad to do that for you as well so let's get right on to it. So we're going to do with, so I have some images or some green screen images, basically videos set up already with these animations. Um, I found these, uh, like there was a couple of places they were giving it out for free and I got like a bunch of them and I just basically consolidated it. I'll throw it on like a, a shared drive online, like on Mediafire or something. So you guys can download it as well. But just to show you, so here's one of them. Here's a like one. Just to show you, I want to play it. See, it's a like button and boom, it goes away. And here's another one. This is another like one. I put this in the Prospect Park video. Oh, let me actually play from the beginning. Boom. It's pretty loud. But I'm going to show you exactly what he needs to be done to like get rid of the vo voice and whatnot. And here's another one. Boom. It's pretty loud as well. So as you can see. So we're going to go right into this subscribe button one first. And I'm going to show you exactly step by step what needs to be done. So I should... I'll try to... Let me delete this track. So it's because I was already like playing around with it before initially. So now, as you can see, you have it here. Now, the thing is, it's not going to really play or it'll play, but you'll see this happen and it's going to turn into a green screen. Now you're going to be like, what the hell? <laughs> what do I do? How do I get rid of this? Don't worry. Extremely simple and easy to follow. Essentially, if you have this clicked, you can just either go into editor or double click the file. I'm just going to go to editor. Once you're in editor, make sure you're in effect. Be careful on this so you have to be in effect and once you're in effect click keyers so this what it does is it knocks out parts of the video based on color or contrast so this is where people get rid of green screen and then they put like something else in the background and they, they do like all these crazy animations like you can it's basically they use this to do the other green green screen stuff there's other things you can do so once you're there in the keyers you click the studio chrome chroma keyer and once you have that clicked bam you see your subscribe button right there. It's chilling on the side. You can literally see it on the video now and playing. Now, the next thing you'll probably say is, this looks stupid. It's just in the middle. I don't want it in the middle of, like, anything. Now, what you can essentially do is you can... Oops, I went too far. You can basically... Let me see if I can do it. You can basically resize it. So you can just change it from the sides. You can so and you can like drag and drop it where you want it. So let's say this is where I want it. It feels like a good size. We put it here. So let's play it now. Bam. Subscribe. Notification bell, baby. Obviously, you can put it wherever you want. Now the other thing is, if you're talking like how I'm talking, I'm not gonna have this in our, my video right now because it's just weird. <laughs> but um, as I'm talking, that's a loud noise, and obviously you don't want to either alarm your subscribers or viewers and just make it that loud you want the noise there but you want it at a lower possible race pace so what i personally do is i detach the audio just to see easier it just helps me personally i detach the audio and then once i'm there i click on the audio file and the basically the channel mixer and all the other good stuff pops up and this is like where all the volume is happening so what i essentially do is i lower the db 
it's around that point. You can do it more, you can do higher if you want to raise the volume. I wouldn't advise for this, obviously. Boom, as you can see, significantly lower. I'm not going to be changing the volume. You're going to be hearing it as is. So you can see significantly lower. Again, I could make it even lower. I can make it lower than that so you don't hear it like crazy loud. So let's, let, let's let it play. And again, the original volume of the screen, just let it play. See? Boom. See? And the volume of the original video is still good because I didn't touch that audio. I touched just the audio for that. Now... Um, basically, it's the same step for the like button, and I think is this it? I think this was the like button. Yep. So let me let me throw that in here. Let's say I wanted the like button here. So you throw that there. Boom. Same thing. You go to editor. You have it selected. Uh, effects. Keyer. Studio Chrome. Boom. Goes away. Now you have your like button. Uh, obviously, it's going to be the same thing. Boom. It's the like button, and it's gonna it goes away. Uh, by the way, the way why it looks weird, it's not rendering. If you see over here, once it like fully renders, and then once you export it, it looks significantly. It doesn't it doesn't look as weird. It actually smoothly does it. Now, same exact thing. You have it here. We just. I usually tend to do it when I start seeing the image. So let me. Oops. Yeah, it does that a lot. Like. Pinnacle is a little weird at points, so I have to like make sure I'm at the right place. Okay. What? Well, stop being weird, Pinnacle. Okay. Okay. I mean, you can put it wherever you want. Let's say I put it here. Here's the like button. I'm gonna keep it right there. We're gonna detach the audio. Click the audio. Put it to, I guess that's fine. And we're gonna let it play and see how it goes. Boom, like the video, boom. Again, I, I just put it in random spots. You put it wherever you guys want to. It's completely your choice. I'm not going to tell you where to put it. You can have it on the whole screen if you want to. <laughs> but um, like I said, I'll put, I'll put this in a, I'll put it in a media fire. I, I guess that's one of the best places where I could put it. And leave a link for you guys to download. And essentially, you guys can go from there. Uh, overall, this was um, this is like my first step and initiation or first portion i guess to the tutorial of pinnacle it's going to be a whole playlist uh i'll leave a link for the playlist in the description below uh obviously you know every other day you're going to see like new tutorials i'm going to be doing a lot like animations all these crazy effects how to do everything in pinnacle i'm just going to be the go-to guy for pinnacle hopefully you guys can like check it out watch it enjoy it and essentially you know check it out and hopefully you can up your youtube game you know i really want to help you guys and i really do want to help contribute to that factor so hopefully this does help you guys and obviously if you have any comments questions or so let me know in the comment section below i will definitely help you out if you're new to my channel make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell just like you saw in the video <laughs> but um if you did overall like this video and you thought it was helpful and insightful definitely give it a thumbs up it helps a lot and on that fnh out man peace